The first and most important part of training for competition is, of all things, the training. Uh, we do it a lot. In my case, I do it five or six days a week in the summer and usually about seven days a week in the winter, except when I travel for work. Um, I do regular karate classes along with what we call TBT classes, that's uh, total body workout. So it's more like cardio kickboxing classes, some of which focus on just the cardio, others are more precision skills, others are strength or weightlifting, and sometimes we also uh, hit the big punching bags. Um, and then I run every morning when I'm in the city and when I'm at the lake in the summer I swim a lot. And then we do, obviously, the actual training for the tournament team. And it is a big commitment, and obviously not everyone uh, can train every day like I do, but to me it, it's a very, very important part of the equation because, like Stephen Pressfield would say, I've decided to turn pro. Now that doesn't mean I make money from karate, unfortunately that's not happening just yet. Um, but turning pro in the press field sense of the word means that you stop futzing around and pretending you're working hard and commit to it with all you've got instead. And when I decided to join the competitive team last year, I gave myself a trial period. I thought to myself, you know, I'll give this my best shot for a few months and see how it feels, just in case it's not for me. If it isn't, well, you know, there's no dishonor in that. You try something hard, and if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. That's fine. Move on. But if it works, I told myself last fall, then there are no half measures. You're all in. And guess what? Well, yeah, I'm in. And that's what it means to turn pro. And that's something we can all do in our lives, no matter what it is we're doing. I really recommend you read Pressfield if you haven't already. The War of Art is a book I like to read and reread, and it's an excellent kick in the pants. And like it or not, very few of us are so disciplined that we never need a good one. Turning pro gets pretty relentless, so make sure you think very carefully before you commit to something. You better love what you're turning pro at because you're going to be doing it a lot. And not just the fun bits either. I mean, most of what we do in training you could call boring and repetitive. I mean, I've been doing karate for 15 years. You, you'd think you, you know, I had some idea how to punch, right? But, well, that's true. I do have some idea how, how to punch, but it's also wrong. My punches can still be better. They can be tighter, and especially they can be faster. Same thing with my kicks. Sure, I, I can kick, but I can kick higher. I can kick stronger and I can kick faster. Everything I do, I can do better, no matter how good at it I think I am. And when we train, um, we typically go for about 90 minutes and we start with some warm-up, then we do some cardio work to kill the legs and get the heart rate way up. And then we drill the same basic techniques over and over and over again. It varies. Sometimes we start with the basic techniques and we don't really focus so hard on the cardio by itself. But trust me, when we get going on drills, it's so intense that uh, we get an excellent workout without having to really try to get a workout. Uh, the point is, we get ourselves tired. And we do that on purpose. Because you can drill even more. And you drill better when you're tired. And that's key. See, working on basic techniques when you're at your best and freshest, well, that's good, of course. Feels good, right? But it's not nearly as good as working on your basic techniques when you're tired. Because to make real improvements, you have to go out of your comfort zone. You not only have to get out of your comfort zone, you have to lock the door behind you and walk away from it. Go to a different town. I mean, go far away from your comfort zone, so far that you can't come back. If you only ever train in your comfort zone, you will not improve nearly as much. And the training will quickly feel very discouraging and kind of pointless. And that's no good. So make your training count, no matter what your training is, even if it's not physical. Uh, work on your techniques, whatever it is you're doing. Work on your writing, work on your accounting uh, acumen, work on everything that you do, anything that you do, you work on it, on every single small basic detail. And especially when the conditions aren't optimal. You're tired? Well, big deal. Train anyway. You're hungry? Doesn't matter. Train. There's a show you want to watch? Forget it. Train. Once you've turned pro, once you've decided to commit to something for real, your tummy doesn't matter anymore. Do you know why I said you should make sure you pick something you love to commit to? Because it comes before food and drink and comfort, that's why. And if you don't love it more than you love pizza, well, you shouldn't commit to it. It's pretty simple, really. I mean, it's not easy, but it is simple. You pick something you love, you commit to it with all you've got, you turn pro, you do it every day, you train when you feel like it, you train when you don't feel like it. You Don't be afraid to do the same basic stuff over and over and over again. Never fall into the trap of thinking you know the basics, and really you ought to worry about more important or cooler stuff. There is nothing more important than your basics. Repeat it 
There is nothing more important than your basics. Drill them, work on them, obsess over them, improve them. And of course, after a while, you'll start getting better. And that is why we train, to get better.